Kirkwood schools held a trunk or treat event less than two weeks after gunfire put a frantic end to another. Former St. Louis County Police Officer Matthew McCullough is still in jail facing numerous charges related to that incident. As Fox 2's Max Deeknight reports since then, Kirkwood schools have put in new protocols, something parents are thankful for. Yeah, that scared another Kirkwood School District trunk or treat event two weeks ago didn't stop families from coming out tonight. Parents tell us they feel totally comfortable and they appreciate what the district has done to keep them safe. These are for the kids to wear for safety, so we're glowing. How much candy do you need? Safety, that's the word on many Kirkwood parents' minds after a now former St. Louis County officer opened fire at a trunk or treat event at North Kirkwood Middle School back on October 15th. I think people were definitely shocked. Mother of two, Jenna Schmier, says she's been pleased with the district's response. They kind of informed us of protocols that they would start following and that they're be more police presence around, so I think people are feeling safe. Hey, Mario, you and Poland also has two young kids in the district. She says the shooting was jarring for parents. I knew people who were there, and I just can't imagine how scary that was for them in that moment, especially um, when you hear about those sorts of things happening throughout the country and then having it so close to home is really scary. A scary event, but these Kirkwood families still showed up Friday night. There's nothing to really be concerned about. To show everyone, including themselves, while they may be in the Halloween spirit, they're not afraid. Definitely want to be cautious in life, but you can't hold yourself back and you want to make sure that you let your kids have fun as they grow up. And again, McCullough is no longer employed by the St. Louis County Police Department and faces a slew of charges related to that trunk or treat shooting will continue to follow his case. At North Glendale Elementary School, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.